the active desire. So please step forward for the welcome address. Members of the National Assembly here present, ex school members here present, chairman of statutory boards, the body of permanent secretary, the chairman, special committee on rehabilitation of public schools, Mr. Hakim Smith and his board members, the local government chairman, Mr. Kola, I hope, sir, you will permit me to stand on the existing protocols. But I greet everyone and uh, we are very happy to have you here. I have the honor and the pleasure to welcome the Governor of Lagos State, Mr. Babaji Deolushola Sambori, a lover of children and an amazing father to apprentice 10 million or more of them and counting because every day a new child is born. I greet everyone here present. Today is an auspicious day indeed and an evidence of another promise delivered by our transformational leader. What we are about to witness is the commissioning of a school that has been described in so many ways. So I will leave it to the technical people to describe it in their way, but I will describe it in my way, which is that this is an iconic building and one for the ages. In years to come, people will pass by Point at it and remember who built it. Governor Baba Jide Olushola Sonogu. Thank you very much. And what better place to build it than Vetland itself? Vetland, I will not talk too much about the school, but it's a school that we are very proud of in Lagos State. It's a performing school. It's, it's one of our, it is the only day model college that we have in the state and the students have justified the entrance exam by doing very well this is the school where we've had the best two wire results for two years consecutively this is a school where the two best is had nine a one this is a school where those two boys with their nine a ones got over 320 in white, one had 340 plus uh, in their jam, and they are now in university, but it's still hospital on full scholarship. So we are very proud of that one. And so therefore, while I have followed protocol and greeted everybody, I must also greet the performing teachers and principals of this. I greet the performing TGPS. Uh, this is Margaret Titila Yosholani, who herself is retiring very soon. And you know, they say, Kosi Magi Kosobe. In this case, this is our Auntie Magi. Thank you, Mrs. Shola. I greet the other permanent executive, the court. When this administration came into office. Our government made promises to the state and to the education sector in particular. The state would deliberately focus on education as a major pillar in the things agenda. Ensure yearly increase in budgetary allocation, which it has done without fail. Complete all outstanding projects to the highest possible standards. We met more than 47 uncompleted projects in our schools, there are just about six or seven left now. And those six, we started work on them, and I'm sure in the next six months we'll be commissioning them as well. We invested in new schools, we have invested in so many new schools, I've been trying to remember them. But I think I can mention some here. The Elemoro School, which is a school with a catchment area of 12 primary schools. So for many years, they've been without a junior school. 
now they have the LMR of school. And all the way to Badagri, we have some schools that, uh, I hope you'll pardon me if I don't pronounce it properly. There is the Farah School, which is a new school. There is the Dublin School, which is another new school. And across the whole state, there are just so many buildings that we have commissioned, more than 1,400 unique projects by the government of the Nobabajiki. He also promised, you remember the things that gender, the E stands for education and technology, where he promised to integrate technology into teaching and learning. Again, another promise kept. As in Lagos State, uniquely among all the states in this, and this building is unique, but it's unique again because for me as an educationist, I love nice buildings. I want the children to be in nice buildings. But for me, it's always about the teaching and learning. What is going on inside the school? And in this school, in each classroom, we have a smart whiteboard. We have tablets for the children. The teachers clock in using biometrics. And what this is going to do is that we are moving our children into the 21st century. So, veteran children, any 9A1s up there? If you have that 9A1, let me see. It. Great. I know you. I know you do us proud. It is significant to note that the main purpose is to ensure that all the children receive good quality education in a conducive environment. And when we talk about quality education, it's not just maths and English, it is course. In I just here, you can see the football field. Please, if I'm wrong, I don't know much about it, but I understand it's five aside. So I hope I'm right. So in that, behind it is a basketball court. So we have sports as well. And of course, you know, in Lagos State, we have a plethora of uh, initiatives in our school clubs and so on. So the children are receiving a total education and in a very beautiful environment for that matter. So I wish to acknowledge Mr. Governor's sustained passion and enormous investment to the education sector in Lagos State. I wish to acknowledge Mr. Deputy Governor. Uh, there are times I have seen him at work. He has many files, but my own is, there are not many if mine are not there. So when mine get there, he knows that files have arrived. So if it wasn't for their uh, supporting us and in so many ways, I don't many we wouldn't even be able to you know talk about these successes that we've had. And you know, this is what schools of the future should look like. The new structure is bound to increase enrollment of students in this catchment area and help them develop their potential. It is in line with education and technology, and we are very proud of it. At this point, permit me to thank members of the education family in delivering the vision of the governor on quality education. The implementation of the education at Ben Denda with the governor has been the work of a team of professionals. I will say it until people tell me I should stop speaking. I'm very lucky as a commissioner because I have what I always do, an embarrassment of riches by the way of my seven permanent secretary and uh, my director and the various directors and chairmen of all the agencies in education, ranging from Tesco and to Dario to Superb, to all the other agencies, all working together as a team. And all, all delivering. I thank you all. Permit me at this point to acknowledge a very, very special person, and that is uh, Mr. Hakim Smith. And he's, he's very special. Very special to us because he works with us. It's not easy in the ministry for another agency to do what he does, but he does it with grace, with charm. And he's able to charm me. I, I'm never angry. I'm even wearing a script shirt when I should be wearing Minister of Education. But he charmed me into wearing it. And he's such a consummate professional. If I call him and say, oh, chairman, there's a school in Itola Street. I'm telling you, within two days, somebody will be there. Somebody will take measurements. Somebody, and he will call me and say, we are doing this and that day. I thank you, Mr. Smith. It's been a pleasure working with you. I love working with you. And thank you, Mr. Governor, for allowing this very fine gentleman to work with us in education. Thank you. I greet you and the members of your team. A good leader is able to build a good team. So I need needless to say, Mr. Smith works with a fantastic team as well. I thank uh, the Minister of Education, led by our permanent secretary, 
Mr. Abolaji Abayomi for the success of this project and indeed of all the projects that we are doing in education. I've mentioned the TGPS decision learning. I've alluded to my other TGPSs, people of great uh, professionalism. I greet the great Vetlander himself, Honorable Logutimu, someone who never lets me rest. This is his school, and the school has to be excellent. Thank you for pushing and challenging us. Thank you. Once again, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I heartily welcome you to this great occasion. I don't want to talk too much about the building. I've said it's one for the ages. You can't take that away from it. So to let's together work collectively to take the education sector of Lagos to greater heights. As we say, as you must say, if the guy let go, it cannot, it, this is a perfect example of Adjimoshe. Thank you very much. Mr. Governor, sir, the Deputy Governor, all other courtesies, the extenders, can we please put our hands together once again for the Honorable Commissioner for Education? Madam talked about iconic projects. It is not a surprise. Lagos State has an icon as the governor. We have several iconic projects. If you forget, let me remind you of the bus terminals at Yaba. Have you forgotten the multi-story park in Onikon? And here today, we are handing over another iconic project in the education sector. A round of applause once again. Mr. Governor, sir, the Deputy Governor, all other courses will be extended. Next, I will invite a man that has been described as very hardworking, energetic, and a team player, the chairman of the Special Committee on Rehabilitation of Public Schools, Mr. Akim Smith, a quantity surveyor. A round of applause for him, please. <laughs> Thank you very much. Good afternoon, Mr. Governor. Afternoon, Mr. Deputy Governor. Distinguished estate and um, ESCO members and distinguished guests. I would just uh, like to start on the well established protocol for one of time. So I understand that another program going on immediately after this, so I wouldn't take too much of your time. Uh, with respect to the technical details of this project, they are in two folds actually. Um, but I would just want to give you a bit of snippet of how it started and where we have today in the area of God. Uh, when we came here to get school, it was um, we had about four daily bungalow buildings here. I recall coming here with uh, Honorable the Buddha to see what's happening here. And um, we said, well, let's see what we are going to do. When you have this partnership with um, Wildy Equipment or actually, they are the ones that did this building for us. They came up with the initiative of trying to incorporate IT into our schools. It helped well. I think this came out of the fact that during COVID, unfortunately, students couldn't, we all couldn't go out. They all shut down. And it was necessary for us to start thinking of how do we ensure we learn in such a situation, just in case it happens again. And that's why it has given back to this sort of theory, whereby students can actually learn in school and out of classroom. Because the tablet we have, with that to be taken home, with the good data from home, they can connect to the syllabuses and the curriculum of the school but, uh, with, uh, remotely. And as such, they're able to achieve that. And that's why we have this goal. This is not just about the structure, it's about the IT needs. And sometimes between the line, I will I would allow the, the company that did this uh, IT infrastructure to have a, a one minute discussion on infrastructure. However, I quickly rush down to the building itself, the structure itself. Like I said, it's a container building. This is um, done with intermodal containers, which, I mean, we know that uh, in these modern days of uh, sustainability, green initiative, it's important for us to start thinking of how to make use of the used materials that have been used before. Containers are things that we go around and see at the ports. But now they are being reused. These are the initiatives for the Green Building Council that we are all trying to put. Well, uh, 
I would um, like to let you know that the veterans, so when we came in, we had these four bungalows. However, the school, the four bungalows were emerged in water because the, the level of this place was far lower than the level of the road. So whenever it rains, it was a problem for this folks. So we knew that we had a challenge. However, when we all came to explain this technology to us and it was necessary, we said, okay, we are going to have it here because we realized that we have the land area to put this sort of building. And again, it's in a major area of Agidi, Lagos State, Alimotion. Agidi, Alimotion, we could So getting here, we, we decided to put this here. We had the usual foundation. We had to put it on grass foundation. Because all these uh, container structures are all put on well solid foundation. We had the salt test for you to know. We had the salt test. Yeah. On doing the salt test, we realized that we have to put it on raft. So all these things that you are seeing is all sitting on raft. It's a foundation that can take the structure. We calculated both the life and the dead load. We are sure that it is comfortable, it is safe for everybody to work and use. Thank you. Uh, the Vietnam School, I call it the new Vietnam School. Because um, this school was aimed, as well as this building, at IT initiative that came into it. It was aimed to transform learning from the chalk to matter board led classroom to a fit of purpose digital interactive IT compliant and environmental friendly hybrid learning spaces. This IT based gadget comprising of nine numbers, 70, 75 inches, 4K flat anti glare interactive touch screen window, uh, given by a Windows 10. With cameras, you go in, you see that you have cameras, you can see your top, and smart pens that are for teachers to use. Uh, we also have about 234 numbers tablet for the students. So each classroom will have about 20, and we have some for the teachers too, for nine classrooms. Because the other classes, classes are going to be for uh, other, 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 other type of subjects like um, IT and the other. Work. So the building is a two story structure, like you can see, the principal room, the staff room, large corridor spaces. Toilet built with intermodal containers on raw foundation. The intermodal containers are in 20 and 40 feet container sizes. Totally 52 number containers we have here. The stacking of the containers has some engineering. So if you go into a classroom that you think when in regular space, it could be four containers that you are actually inside. And the structure has a gross area of over 1,500 and 3 meters square, with the length of the building 49 meters by 16 meters. Why? The floors are screened in cement metal, and then you can see we use the terrazzo flooring, which is quite available for our uh, use that. now. Okay. Um, the, the classroom floor and the corridor, each other office, are all clean with terrazzo for good. durability. Because what we have in some of our schools are just clean for tiles, and we realize that tiles cannot actually do what we need now with respect to the use that we are going to put into. Um, the, 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 the containers, as you see, are quite comfortable because we ensure that we have uh, insulated insulation materials all around it. So when you are there, you are just as if you are in a normal room. Um, and uh, we have a uh, light windows for cross ventilation, and we have uh, fans that we can we can use. The structure is a mono pitch, so we ensure that um, well drained. Um, we still, we, we, on still process, so we, um, we pull up this resistance, so we are comfortable. It's not a timber that you might be scared that uh, we will get something in no time. Um, now, this building is off grid. It's powered by solar panels. It's the first of its kind, fully powered with all batteries. It's off grid. So, as they are in the classrooms, all the screens that you are seeing are powered from that solar panel. Please just thank Mr. Don for this initiative. And typically, we have other amenities around the school, the tank, the septic tank. The water services and the rest. Uh, however, moving forward, I haven't seen Mr. I haven't done this, and uh, coming around, we, Mr. Governor saw that the entire thing was still looking. We had some bungalows there, bungalows there. I recall very well the day when Mr. Governor was, he said, How many students do we have in this? Mr. Governor, we have 620 students in this school. He called, made a call to the principal that night, and she confirmed that. Mr. Governor said, Please clean out all those bungalows. And make sure that we have a clean environment. That gets back to this fantastic education center that we have. Here. Thank you very much, Sandra. And in addition, we have a football pitch. We have an extension for the first time, the multi purpose sports. Where you can have about four different sports activities in. We have basketball, we have volleyball, we have badminton, and we could have a 
Maybe it's all there. It's all been marked for our children's use. I'm sure they're going to use it very well. And this is to ensure that we have an all-rounded student in the school. That's the energy that they show up. So walking down the street, doing nothing. Thank you very much. Um, then, in addition to this, the spice of this, uh, just to mention, there are complementary amenities that we just introduced. Uh, I know that Mr. Dobner may not remember the approval to install the first composite toilets in this school. So we have toilet facility here, quite a good number, about uh, almost 30 toilets in this building. So we have enough toilets in the building. However, we have, for when we are trying to ensure security in this school, there is this, um, the secondary school at the back of us here. This is junior school, the senior school at the back. So we have to ensure that we clean out the entire thing, raise the fence, because we have some people coming in from outside the building. Jumping into the school, so we raise the fence to ensure that there's security. Why mean that we need to ensure that the security man is also comfortable? So we now know that this has enough toilet. The building behind us has enough toilet. We now decide to give the gate instead of leaving its post up and down a composite toilet that does not use water. It's a bio toilet. It's the first of its kind in this school and Lagos State. Thank you very much. I know you must have forgotten, but Mr. Bob, you signed it that we should go ahead. And we intend to be installing this in several other schools in the country. Also, there's a new thing here. We are thinking that we should have water, good portable water for our students. And here, now in Vietnam, for the first time, we have a, a system there that can dispense water for the students. Right from our bowl, it is quite good system. It has a filtration unit where you can actually take clean portable water that is treated for our students. Thank you, sir. This is awesome, and this is the first time that we're seeing this. All the glory of the government government is for that. I would not. Uh, end this by not thanking my, my team, my formidable team, the new wonderful jobs, the script family, we are a family and we've been working together and we intend and have the ability and capacity to do so much more for the state. The commissioner, thank you very much. I must thank you because there is no time. We have a some good new messages. First on the lineup, I will respectfully invite the honorable member of the Lagos State House of Assembly representing Agege two constituency. Honorable online in car of Buti to step forward and give us a very short Google message. Good afternoon, Mr. Governor, Mr. Deputy Governor. I want to stand on the already established protocol. Well, I will want to go straight to my good day message. Before I go into that, I want to greet the alumni of Vetlan that are here and the um, parent forum that are here present. Well, Mr. Governor, I'm the most happiest person in this place today. As a matter of fact, you have done this for me to honor me personally. I want to say thank you, sir. We came into this place as a school in 1980. We were transferred from Lagos Baptist to come and start the school. And we had just three arms, class one, two, three, in place. And many people does not even know the name of the school originally. The original name of the school is Agege Secondary Grammar School. But the principal then, late Mrs. L.T. Latonon, was doing some research on her own. Discovered that the land that was being used in this place belongs to the veterinary section of the Agric Ministry. So they changed the name with the necessary authority approval. To veterinary land schools. That is what gave back to veterinary schools. And many people doesn't know. They don't saw the name and became, you know, sounding like an uh, important name in their ear. No, it's purely an agric land turned into school by Jack Day in 1979. We've been made to make to make use of both what we call them poetry, poetry school. No window, no door, nothing. The lab that we used at that time were mobile lab. But 
Because of the good hands we've been having from then to now, this school has been blessed. Those of this school, as you have seen, sir, a lot of professionals. Not that you will lose count if it's not mentioned in But when I became the chairman of education in Lagos, uh, Mr. Smith, the script chairman, they were walking around and they were looking for the place where they can do a final ski of this special school. I said, wow, it will not be possible to pick another, another place. I'm the chairman of education. So, you know, but at the end of the day, they said the other two are still displaced. I said, thank God. And that is to the approval of the Mr. Governor, sir. You don't know what you have done in this area. We have not seen such this type of amenities around this environment. This is the first of its kind. We are indebted to you. We are indebted to you. See, let people move on. Between Ikege and Akodali, this person that will go to the CDA, I'm coming. I, I'm chasing something. I will, I will explain to you where I'm going. This person that will go to the CDA, sir, and it's under Akodali, no local government. But they, you cannot demarcate. If you cross that road, you are in Ikege. If you cross back, you are in Akodali. Even the the MC that is piloting this uh, program, he, he did not call the chairman slave. He mentioned the local government chairman slave while he was dating the chairman seated. The chairman of the local is there. So the essence of this is for the Dua, is for both IKG and Ifakoyaye, which we have seen. And we want to assure you that we are taking ownership of this, of this project. We want to assure you that nothing will happen to it. You will come with this can be left into the hands of the community, the school, everybody. We will, we will ever see it be useful to the generation of God and for the students. See, sir, every Sunday I'm going to Right. And we witness everything from beginning to the end. They have done very well, sir. They have done very well. I can attest to everything they have done here. Right from the time they started bringing the public cabin, they always meet me here on Saturday. Ask them. And they will start putting all their finishes and they did it to the best of the way they could that we can call standard work. So, Honorable Commissioner, Ma, thank you very much. I hope you are going to forgive me of my troubles. And the chairman speaks, yes, I have done that because we want this. And our children, they all they know me very well. I've always been coming to Romo there. And this is the only way you can show that I passed through this visa. And you have done it for me. God will continue to bless you. We will pay you back. Come next election. You will see the number of, uh, of the votes you are going to get from this place and again. And that is what we can give you back. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you very much, sir. Let's appreciate the Honorable Member House of Assembly representing Agege 2 constituency. Mr. Governor, sir. The deputy governor, all other courts is duly extended with your kind permission. And in difference to what the chairman of Scripps said the other time, I will invite the contractor of this project, that is the Web B Interactive, Ms. Saad Bolahan or Layomi, to please step forward and give us a very short two minutes. Mr. Governor, Mr. Deputy Governor, all protocols observed. Today, I would like for all of us to mark this day in history. Today will be a day when years to come, an exam will be set. And the question will be, when did technology come into public education in Nigeria? The same way a day was set years back and we said television came into Nigeria in 1958. 29th June 2022 is a day 
for the ages. The day when it first happened, I dare say in Africa, where architecture, technology, and construction fuse together to create a one in a lifetime project, which is what you see here today, called the Vetland Junior Grammar School. Mr. Governor, permit me to remind you that this project is your vision. This project is the realization of a chance meeting we had with you two years ago at the Education Summit at the Co Hotel. We had the rare privilege, without knowing you, of making a presentation. We couldn't tell you, explain to you how technology would make sense in a learning environment. So we had to find a way to envelope that technology and to make it make sense to the common man. So by divine inspiration, we received counsel to house it in a modular structure. And when we pushed that to you through the auspices of the Ministry of Education, you sat there after I did my presentation, that Bolaha, go and build me one of that. And today, two years later, here you are the realization of what you talk about. What is this? Why are we here? It's the excitement in the face of those children that we are speaking the language they understand, technology. If you walk on the streets and you see any set of children gathered anywhere together, distracted, maybe selling plantain or anything, watch them. They're watching a the TV. They're watching some, something is distracting them. It's video-based technology. While be is pleased and grateful to you, Mr. Governor, for giving us the opportunity to bring to life 23 years of research, 23 years of planning, 23 years of young people coming together to create technology out of Nigeria. We are glad that you gave us a platform to make this reality come to pass. What you see here today is world class. And I say this with every sense of responsibility. If you go to the United States, you go to China, you go to the UK, what you see here is what you would see in the best of their private schools. You go to an Eton, a Harrow, what you see here is what you will see there. We want to say thank you to you, sir. What are we going to see? What would be the impact of this for you, Mr. Governor? In 10 years from now, the kids from Beckland are the ones who will digitize your civil service. It will be native to them. It will be native to them. It will be what they are used to doing from day one already. They will be the corporate leaders tomorrow who are going to be solving with critical thinking skills that they will learn in this classroom, solving problems for legal State. They will be the inventors in two years from now from the technology they have here, creating things that the whole world will come see where did that happen. It's going to all be coming out of Bethlehem. And this is the first form, we believe, of many more to come. And lastly, I want to say, Mr. Governor, when we spoke to you, or when we presented at the Co Hotel, COVID was just starting. We hadn't gotten deep at all. We didn't know we would have a lockdown. Bethlehem will be the first school that no pandemic will stop learning in. Because of the technology that's here, Hybrid learning is going to take place here. Whether there's a pandemic or not, the kids of Bethlehem, whether at home or in school, learning will continue. And that's courtesy of the technology that's been planted in these spaces. Mr. Governor, on behalf of the chairman of the board of um, Wauby, and all the management staff and all of us, we want to say a big thank you to you, sir. God bless you, and may your administration continue to soar higher and higher. Thank you very much, sir. Let me quickly now invite for the last Google message the Chairman Parents Forum. Kitayo, please, you have two minutes. Two minutes. Your Excellency, the Executive and Dynamic Governor of Lagos, the State of Excellence, His Excellency Nobajide Olusha Sawodu, 
The Deputy Governor, His Excellency Kaduri Obafemi Hamza. For frugality of time, I will humble seek your indulgence to adopt the already established protocol. Your Excellency and other distinguished guests, in the history of Nigeria and in the scheme of events, Lagos State, after the First Republic, has been taking the lead in championing the course of breakthroughs, serving as models and templates for other states in the Federation. This is another feat, another giant leave and achievement, not just for the government of His Excellency, not just for the country, but for the entire human race. Your Excellency and other dignitaries, today marks a new era, a new beginning. This is a new earth under a new heaven. A couple of years ago, who could boast of this edifice? This miracle, indeed, is now a reality. It's our turn, our local. It's amazing witnessing this transformation. The parents of the students of this school, past and present, have yearned for school to have the model outlook. Modern outlook in terms of structures alone, not in terms of structures alone, but we have never doubted the competence of our great teachers, their abilities and capabilities were never in doubt. And now our prayers are in answer and we're there. This is it. An evidence of modern design detected with nature, flowers and other plants beautiful in the eyes of the beholder. Your Excellency, the digital dignitaries, let me humbly say this, in one you, this is one euphoric moment. I cannot hide my feelings, my emotions. I am highly delighted. I am hurting. And I believe my messages echo the same feelings and messages from the lucky parents and students. We thank God Almighty for making us part of this historical moment which goes in the golden record of final history of this great school. Under the able leadership of our durable governor, the deputy governor, the Commission of Education, the TGPS, and the director of education, Mrs. F.O. Olabisi, and her vice, Mrs. Lassani Dada, and other wonderful teachers, which time would hinder me to, to list them all, but God Almighty do know them. Your Excellency, if we are all living witnesses to this gigantic development and transformation, it's obvious we do not need a soothsayer or prophet to tell us that the future of the children passing through this kind of school is bright. So also the future of the country. What do I mean? A school equipped with digital interactive boards with air condition and solar plant. Fine, this is enough to induce children on the streets into the school. In addition, it's a common say that all play without work make Jack a dull boy. And all work without play equally make Jack, a dull boy. Your Excellency, the well constructed sporting arena will not only, to a large extent, aid the students in their learning academic process, it also serves as a good avenue for those who want to choose sport as a career to enhance their skills and performances. Moreover, the site has a unique outlook. There is no better time for students to have this than now when they are still in their developmental stage. Now, is it not, is it not derogatory for anyone to call that country the grammar school without adding international? Finally, on behalf of Parent Forum of Vector Junior International School, if you permit me, Model Grammar School today, there is no amount of accolades and encomiums that can come and the unique edifice with modern equipment, which we are blessed with by God through our, our amiable, a fable, Adorable and visionary leader, His Excellency, but by the of we do, may God Almighty continue to be your support, your guide, protector, and facilitate with every divine facility. I mean, Your Excellency, the parent forum of Vetland Junior International Border School, wish to humbly present this little gift to you, sir, as a sign of appreciation. Three months are how I don't know. A round of applause, a token of appreciation of the good works of Mr. Governor.
Thank you very much. Mr. Governor, sir, with your kind permission, the children. The children would love to use this once in a lifetime opportunity to have a performance. Please, if you are ready, the children with the performance. You have just five minutes. Is it? Okay. Please make your way here. Five minutes. Five minutes. Thank you very much. 
Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Time is not our friend anymore. Please, let's appreciate them. You can see the way that Mr. Godmoto has to speak to you. Thank you. I'm not doing it. Hey, John, hey, John, please. Mr. Godmoto still has to speak to us. And he has another function. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Let me, with your kind permission, 
invite a man who is not only vocals, but the man everyone refers to as Mr. Sellable. Today he is providing a total education package. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Put your hands together for Mr. Babajide Omusola Salomi. <laughs> This is Vetland in Adege Ipapo Jokoro Vetland School. The Speaker of the Lagos Federal Assembly is here, is represented by the Chairman House Committee on Education, himself, an old student, an old pupil of Vetland School, formerly Adege Secondary School. Thank you very much. You can see the excitement in the air. Cabinet members that are here, especially, especially the new commissioner for education, Mrs. Adekisayo. Olaji Adekisayo, acknowledge the Secretary for the State Government. I greet very, very warmly the Board of Permanent Secretary, especially the Permanent Secretary in District 1, Mr. Tiraio, Margaret Solari. Thank you very, very much. I acknowledge the Chairman of the Jokoro LCDA, Honorable Hamid Tijani. I acknowledge other chairmen that are here with us. I acknowledge very, very warmly the Chairman. The Special Committee of School Reactation of Public Schools, Mr. Kim Smith, another board member that are here. I call it Ben Wombi, the chairman of our party, and every colony of the JRB. And I also acknowledge check, other party, check the party cases that are here. Check Honorable Salvador Adebayo, thank you. Honorable Abiola, thank you. Honorable Otumba, you are Miss Nuti. Honorable Yomi, Olabinjo, and Mr. Ariwiki. Nadia Halima. Thank you all very much for holding forth in Agege. The Archbishop of the Methodist Church of Nigeria, most Reverend Dr. Aria Fana that are here. We have been at an event earlier. The law of Agege. Thank you all also for coming and acknowledge also the other traditional rulers that are here, especially the Alahi Bay of Uwili Agege. Thank you very much, and the region also representing the party. Thank you all very much. I acknowledge very warmly the MDC of Ruby Interactive wow. Company, who are the major contractor for this wonderful edifice. Sir Colin, I acknowledge all of our heads of agencies, departments, and government offices. Uh, the great, great, great energetic. Of the Ben Junior School, and of course, the great students, 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 the great school. Gentlemen of the press, I mean, to also acknowledge you and to thank you, distinguished guests, 
ladies and gentlemen. You can see there is so much delight in the here today. And I'm certainly, certainly delighted to be here with you at the commissioning of this first in class, first in the country, first in the state, the modular interactive at the great Redland Junior, I hear Junior International School, I give you yet another milestone intervention in our ongoing transformation of the educational sector in the state. Gentlemen of Press, you remember about seven months ago at the ultra commissioning, at the commissioning of the ultra modern 18 classroom block. We say had at the Elemoro Comprehensive Junior School in Bejuleki. On that occasion, across all the districts in the state, but we also did promise that we're going to make it bigger, better, and bolder. Here we're keeping that promise, which is why we're here today to hand over the Bethlehem Junior Grammar School. Our goal as a government is to build schools of the future, public schools that are driven by cutting edge technology and that can compete favorably with the best public and private schools anywhere in the world. This containerized modular building that is being commissioned here today. It's made up of nine regular classrooms, three laboratories, and four staff rooms. All of these are powered by solar panel. So like they said, this whole structure is completely off grid. We don't want any NEPA failure or any power failure. It's completely, completely off grid. And it is being installed with a namely teaching and learning technology under the most conducive environment. All the classrooms I'm told are equipped with interactive touch screen, and all the students have been given an electronic tablet to aid their learning, both in school and also virtual learning. The students here, ladies and gentlemen, this is the future of public school in Lagos. This is the future of public school in Nigeria, we believe this should be the future of public school in Africa. This is a welcome milestone towards ensuring that no child is left behind in Lagos State. In terms of some numbers, our administration so far has constructed over 800 new classroom blocks in public school system. While we're completing the rehabilitation of about 200 primary schools and secondary schools all within the next couple of weeks. We've also added about 180,000 units of furniture that have been supplied across all the six educational districts in the state for the use of the students, the pupils, and their principals. We have improved security in our public schools by installing watchtowers perimeter fence, panic bells, and floodlights. And we prioritize the comfort of boarding schools to the provision of bedding and other necessary items. We have not limited ourselves to infrastructure. As the beneficiaries can attest to, the welfare and the training of teachers and administrative staff in our public school system, they have all received significant attention as well. And I want to assure you that we will also be doing more. Later today, gentlemen of the press, is also a big occasion where we'll be acknowledging and we'll be celebrating all the teachers in the public service. And I'm sure you are all going to join us in Alsa and another one now from here, where teachers, teachers that are the bedrock of your, your learning, are going to be celebrated later today, this school, Bethlehem Junior Grammar School, and to all benefiting schools. Full ownership of this facility is being provided and to ensure that they are maintained responsibly. We have a duty of care to, to take proper and adequate care of everything that has been handed over to you so that it's not only for you, it's also for, for future teachers and for future students that are coming behind you. Finally, I would like to congratulate all the 620 pupils 
who are the pioneer beneficiaries of the state of the heart school at Bethlehem. We deserve to receive the best quality education available, which we believe will provide you for the future 21st century that we are all about. With these facilities that have been provided, it is now up to you to take full advantage and to strive to excel in your studies. Make your parents, as you can see, your guardians, your teachers, and the entire community proud of the products of being from the Bethlehem School. Let me end this speech by acknowledging, I think they've been acknowledged, but by thanking very, very warmly the chairman and board members of SCRIPS, Mr. King Smith. I don't expect anything less. To verify you, to believe you have the capacity, but you've shown it that just believing is not the solution. In fact, you have lived it, and I'm indeed excited and I'm happy. There are several, several, several schools that we have to commission. I want to thank you. I want to thank the other board members, Engineer Lee Holloway, BIQ, Rabel, Mr. Chef Mohadi Banjo, and the Secretary, Mrs. Benny Legacy. And, I, and all your staff that are all, all, all over that, I think you all deserve a round of applause. Thank you very much. Thank you very, very, very much. I think we we'll just need to also thank and acknowledge again the board and management of Wobi Company, led by Mr. Golan. Mr. Golan, thank you very much. When you came up and you explained, and you reminded me two years ago at that event, we didn't know that this is what would be the output and the outcome. Thank you very much. We believe in you, and you also believe in us. I'm sure there's a lot that we all can still do together. Thank you all very, very much. It's also to thank Honorable Ogundinu, who has shown passion, who has led as the chairman of that House Committee on Education, but more importantly, has shown the love and the compassion that he has for Bethlehem School. As an old school, you continue to do what you do well, and we're happy that you are a product of this school, you are representing your school and your community very, very well in Lagos State after attending. Thank you all, thank you all very, very, very much for what you are doing for your community. Finally, is to thank the education family, met by our able and capable grandmother, Amapit, Mrs. Polashate Akepisayo. I know that you are the right fit for that job. When he called on you, even out of retirement, I want you to come and head our Ministry of Education. We knew we made the right choice. And you have shown it several years because you are leading truly, really, as a leader with all of your TGPS. Several, several of them have passed to you. Several directors, several staff of the Ministry of Education. We are happy for making that choice and we are happy with your leadership skills. We are happy. With the TG for District 1, Mr. Margaret, thank you very, very much. We thank all the other educational sector. Subed, thank you very much for always being there, support, you know, the Ministry of Education, and for all the great things that you agree, also in the Ministry. I want to thank all of you, all of you that have been part of this great event. I want to thank our political structure in Akeke, in Ujukuru, and in Papojai. Thank you. There's a lot that was still bringing for you. You have assured us that come next year, we don't want anything. Just go out there and double your vote for us. That is the only assurance that we have that we're doing well. You know, you know that everything from this place as well. You know, and they say that I get gay I get gay TV international you. I get gay TV first class, the very first in the country. Chairman of our party, thank you very much. All of our stakeholders are really, really, really happy. That we're witnessing the very first in Lagos State. We're witnessing the very first in Nigeria. And it is happening. It's not in VI, it's not in Ukui, it's in the hearts of where our people are in Agege, in Bethlehem Junior, Junior School. That's where it's happening today. And I'm indeed excited that all of us have been part of this great event. And so it is my humble privilege that I commission this building, which we're going to be handing over to the students today. But I'm sure for their use and for the benefit of mankind. Can you see how lovely, how beautiful their five aside is? We'll see what the football match 
and all of the amenities that have been provided for them. This will make this place the first of its kind all around Abidia and Mr. Barrow. Thank you very much. Have a lovely day. Please let's make the applause very resounding for Mr. Governor. As Mr. Governor makes his way to his feet, let me invite, let me invite for the vote of thanks committee on rehabilitation of public schools, Mr. B. I. Q. Raj Label. My job is very, very simple. The governor has done a lot of it. The governor has indeed, and very well, everybody is here. It's commended for and the job is half done. The only thing the governor did not do was to thank himself. And therefore, I will thank him specially on behalf of the education family. We thank him so much for this activities. He has promised us so much during the campaign era and he has done all. Things that he didn't promise he has done, including the mission of this kind of school. One of the kind, the only one in the entire Nigerian country. We thank you very much for the provision of facilities and capacity to deliver this school now. And we are sure you are doing more for us. We thank you so much. We thank the entire executive member of Labour State for the support that we are giving the government in the uh, family to be able to perform this as we have done. We can't thank you enough. We thank all the leaders from Ifako Jai, Ujoko, Agege, and Uri Agege for attending this um, function. You are saying what you are voted for, and I'm sure you are going to repeat this in the next election because if the man is performing. We can only ask them to continue. We can't bring your finger to come and start telling you that we We are sure of that. And for all the other people that are here today to witness this occasion, we sincerely thank you and we pray that each and every one of us will get to us safely and we attend other events that we have going forward in the occasion of the Once again, we thank you so much and God bless you. Thank you very much, sir. Mr. Governor, sir, the Deputy Governor, all other courtesies to be extended. What remains is for you to formally cut the trip and undertake a guided tour of the classrooms. Mr. Governor, sir, Mr. Deputy Governor, sir, and every member of the assembly and all other occupants of the front two top tables, you are invited.